InnoBTech DICOM Server 2.6 Release Overview Let's take a look at the PAX Admin Web Console. In the first menu, Devices, you can add and manage connected clients. In order to connect a client, such as a modality device or workstation, you must specify its IP address, port, and AE title. You can add a description for the client and choose the suitable image format to be converted on the fly. There is also the option to add a certificate for a secure connection. With permissions, you can configure flexibly how the PAX server interprets commands from clients. Once the client has been added, you can test the connection with an echo request. On the studies menu, you can view the list of studies, conduct a search, download the archive of the study or delete it. There is a basic view of images for administration purpose. A list of scheduled tasks and studies is stored in the modality worklist menu. Manage this list by searching for a task, for example, by the patient's name, deleting it or viewing information about it. The storage for DICOM files of the studies is set on the page with storages. If there are several storages and all are enabled, they will be filled in turn as they fill up. The tasks menu is the headline feature of this new version release. On this page, you can make a schedule for running storage maintenance functions. Forwarding function is responsible for copying the studies to any remote PAX server or DICOM software. Under this menu you can enable secure connection, set up the delivery verification parameter and conduct an extended search. When the extended search function is used, all studies on the remote PAX server become available to the client, even if the client is not connected directly to this remote server. Archiving means studies compression by changing their storage format. This function changes only the image format, but the studies remain unzipped. Deletion functionality allows you to erase the old studies under the preset conditions. Next there is a tab with all logs and events tracked on the PAX server. The log file is available for download. Settings menu contains key server settings. Database connection settings show IP address, port and other related information. DICOM server access displays current AE title of the server and the special setting to crop a long accession number. Store service settings contain ports of the unsecure and secure storages if the data encryption is used. Below there is a view only space limit configuration. MWL service settings enable to manage insecure and secure worklist service ports. The settings related to server workflow notifications. Here you can check the activation of HTTP and WADO services and change the logging level. The last element allows to upload security certificates. Finally, on the page about you can find the product and the license keys together with the related information about the current license and the number of connections when the software is activated. There is an option to switch the interface to the dark theme, which will be applied to the whole web console. 